<clears throat> Hello YouTube, I'm Garage Guy 879 and I am the worst shot on YouTube. Let me uh, ask you something. Have you ever heard the phrase, there's two sides to every coin? Well, let me give you an example. One side of that coin, it's possible to walk into any gun shop, spend $500 or more, and I'm talking about Glock, Taurus, Springfield, Smith & Wesson, and end up getting a piece of crap, buying a lemon. It's rare, but it is possible. It's also possible on the other side of that coin to go into any gun shop and buy a handgun for $200 or less and get something that is not a piece of crap. Yeah, it's rare, but it does happen. And I think I got a good example of the latter. I run across this little fellow right here. This is the Phoenix Arms, model HP-22A. And I have had nothing but fun and enjoyment from it. Y'all stick around and watch the rest of my video. Let me tell you about it. Hello YouTube, this is Garage Guy 879 uh, I'm coming to you with a review of the uh, Phoenix Arms model HP-22A, 22 long rifle pistol. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, as far as going into any dealer and buying a gun for under $200, Hey, you get what you get. It is what it is. You know, it's not going to be as well made. And a lot more things, you know, the chances are, are going to go wrong with it. But this here was an impulse buy. Now, I got it at Hunter's Paradise in Chill Highway, Virginia for $149.95. Out the door, it was $159. That's taxes, background fees, whatever. Pretty good little deal. This was what you would say an impulse buy. I got a Glock on the layaway. I went down there to make a payment on it. And I figured, what the heck? You know, uh, I'm going to give this little guy a try. Well, let's open her up and see what we got. We got uh, a funky looking little lock. You know, actually... It might do pretty good if I got to lock something inside the house. Other than that, I wouldn't use it outside. Okay, we got the actual handgun. Comes with a manual that's really not too bad. And uh, then you have a uh, Youth Handgun Safety Act notice here. Uh, pretty well goes over the rules of, you know the laws or what have you concerning children comes in this little box now you can get what they call a deluxe range kit it comes with pistol lock uh, manuals also comes with five inch target barrels what they call it and the plastic box which is fairly nice but this little fella right here like I said it was an impulse buy this is what a lot of people might call a modern day Saturday night special. Now I'm not going to take it apart because this thing, you know, like a lot of other guns, has been YouTubed to death. And people know the deal with it. As a matter of fact, I've already had it out. Uh, I have took it apart and every gun I buy, whether it's new or used, I take it apart, give it a good cleaning, put a little bit of oil on it, and then take it from there. It's got, uh, I'm going to tell you what, there's a spring in here, and first time I took this gun apart, that spring grew wings and took flight. I was having to scoot under the entertainment center, had to move it to get the spring out from under there. But uh, it comes in, this is what they call a matted stainless finish, 
you got like uh, plastic grips it's uh well 150 bucks what do you expect now a lot of people on uh, on the YouTube was talking about uh, you know you can only use standard velocity ammunition with it hey that's fine a lot of people also talk about you know sometimes after so many rounds it tends to get a crack in a frame I believe somewhere in here but uh, you know it's like my other pistols you use the uh, ammunition that's recommended by the manufacturer shouldn't have no problems uh, also I gotta tell you this little pistol has absolutely no recoil to it none whatsoever and it is, it is a little bit louder than most 22s but you know you're gonna have that little extra pop from a handgun this small what I like about it it's this little beaver tail you could call it maybe half of a 1911 curl or whatever I like it uh, people complain about the safeties where you have to have the firearm on safety before you can remove the magazine well let's see that's safe this is safe it's unloaded nothing's in there uh, the gun itself I safety check it all of them before uh, I do a review uh, people go in they take a side grip off and there's a little aluminum piece or what have you or maybe metal I don't know what it's made of because I haven't took this off and uh, you take uh, take something and nip off uh, one end of it where it's touch touching a mag release and uh, another end up here to where you don't have to have the gun on safety to remove the magazine or put it back in you know what watch this okay okay it's on it's on fire all right okay you want to remove the magazine okay push up press down out it comes how much longer did that take a uh, fraction of a second longer I'm not going to mess with mine because all I'm going to use mine for is plinking or target shooting. And speaking of target shooting, when I first mentioned, you know, it's possible to uh, get a good gun for $200 or less and it not be a lemon. Well, this here's my second example of that. Uh, first example was my Heritage Rough Rider. 200 bucks and some change not one single problem and as far as plinking again you know I was saying before this little pistol's got some weight to it it's about 20 ounces it is actually heavier than my Ruger SR22 all right you can see the size differences there eh got a longer grip well, those of you that have the SR-22, you know, you, you know the size difference. But this little Phoenix is about three ounces heavier than this SR-22. And I wouldn't have thought that when I first got it. But, you know, this thing, it is fairly accurate. It's got the sight on the back, you know, you can adjust uh, side to side, but not elevation. Uh, the hammer on here, this thing's new, and that thing, well, it's on safe, yeah, all right, let's put the magazine back in here, all right, now we're on fire, this magazine, or not magazine, damn, uh, hammer, pretty darn stiff, trigger on it, yeah, it's plastic, but so what? you know 150 bucks it is what it is uh i've just shot the standard velocity ammo out of it no problems like i said this is a little fun gun it's just used for target shooting and plinking uh would i use it as a backup for self-defense no maybe in a pinch but it fits well in a pocket fits well in the coat pocket or whatever very concealable but uh, would I trust my life with it no 
if I'm going to use anything for backup uh, during the cold weather months, it'd be a Glock 26 or 27. Warm weather months, it'd be a Taurus 709 Slim or a 740 Slim. But this little fella right here, in a pinch, yeah, sure, why not? But anyhow, this is my review of the uh, Phoenix Arms HP 22A. It's not going back in the box. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you exactly where I'm going to put it. This little case right here, I refer to it as my fun guns. So, it's going to go right in here like it. This is what I take with me target shooting. As far as my target shooting days here, I'm going to be enjoying them a lot more. Now I've got one more to choose from. And if I get any more, it looks like I'm going to have to either get a bigger case or maybe just another case the same size. Hmm. Anyway, this is Garage Guy 879. I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, Y'all have a nice day. Uh, I'm going to head down to the uh, my little handgun range and make some videos shooting this uh, little phoenix and a lot of people you know they say well I don't like unboxings I want to see the actual shooting video I try to do both in each video I make so here comes a part with me target shooting Alright, I'm going to shoot uh, this little target here, about five rounds, see if, uh, I don't know, five, six yards back, see what happens. Well, it wasn't too awful bad. Let's fire a couple more rounds. Same distance. Well, actually... Not bad at all. I just need to get my grouping together. 